Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on Tricky Maths Part 13. In this video we are going to look at the following expression. 0 factorial equals 1 factorial. Is the above expression true or false? The last couple of videos explained the factorial function. Remember that n factorial was n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 times n minus 3 etc times 2 times 1 where n was a positive whole number. We saw that 0 factorial gave us the number of ways that a set with no elements or objects in it could be arranged. Hence we saw that 0 factorial equals 1. Now this represents the empty set in other words, a set with no objects in it can only be arranged in one way. So that's what this information here tells us. Zero factorial means that the empty set can only be arranged in one way and there it is there as you see it. So what does one factorial represent? One factorial tells us the number of ways that a set with one element can be arranged. So here is an example of a set with one element or one object. There it is. You can see that object there. So the above represents a set with one element. The single element in it can only be arranged in one way and that's it as you see it. You can't arrange it in any other way. So let's look at the next slide. So from the previous two slides we conclude that 0 factorial equals 1 factorial that is true. So the empty set and the set with one element in it can only be arranged in one way.